hello my lovely friends we're back with Tetsi again in my channel and today we're going to be packing leeches for shipping so you're gonna learn about that and you're gonna tell me if you learned something today or if you still have some questions let's get started so here I have my trusty back bucket of leeches that I'm going to be sourcing my live animals from for the shipping and leeches do survive between 7 to 13 days depending on how they're shipped they survive in route so today we're going to ship them in a special kind of way in this jar and we're not going to be using gel no gel absolutely zero gel allowed so let's see how we're going to accomplish this just by using a piece of cotton and today's video has been made possible by leech.com you can purchase your leeches as well as your leech supplies from leech.com so head over there as soon as you're ready let's get started So in order to get your leeches shipped, you will need this kind of a jar. Now, I don't recommend using this jar for shipping leeches in seasons such as summer or in the dead of winter. Why? Because in summer, it's way too hot to be shipping leeches in a jar like this. So you can ship them, but maybe during the other seasons, just so they don't, um, it becomes like a greenhouse effect inside and they might just overheat because leeches don't like the heat too much. So let's get started and put our leeches inside our jar. You can either handle them with these forceps, which are also found on leech.com, or you can handle them with your fingers. This is how I do it. I just slide the leech over to one side to dislodge it okay and uh, i can also grab like a larger <laughs> larger number of leeches with these forceps if i wanted to if i really wanted to okay let's say i wanted to take two or three I'll just go like this, you see? Now that we have our leeches transferred to our jar, let's return the rest in the bucket. Make sure none of them are stuck to the edge of the snapping bucket cover because if they're stuck, they might dry up or they might get damaged and they might die. So make sure always when you're looking at the top lid, make sure there's no leeches to um, attach to the edge of the bucket. So now that we have about six or seven leeches in this jar, I'm gonna go ahead and place the rest of the items in this jar that we need for shipping. I wouldn't recommend shipping any more than about 10 or 15 leeches in this size of a jar only because they do have a, a saturation point so you can't have you can't stuff too many leeches in a jar maybe like 10 to 15 at the most if you do more than that what they do is they pee during the travel process so they might um get sort of like poison each other out from their poisonous deadly um, pee that they release and the pee is green in color just like this bucket and it's time to change this bucket's water these leeches water uh, just because of the pee because we always want to get rid of that green excrement to keep our leeches fresh and clean so that they're always 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 healthy lively and vibrant just like you see here in my bucket i've been taking care of these leeches for at least four months and as you can see none of them are sick 
None of them are lethargic. None of them have any signs of deformation. Um, and in fact, their behavior is just like a fresh leech that's been born this season. Why? Because I always, always take care of my leeches very well. I keep my leech water extremely clean. Uh, as soon as I see this color appearing, I will change it over to clean, fresh tap water from the faucet. Now, some people like to put rocks inside. Other people like to put different mosses inside. I don't do any of that because I don't wanna to have to deal with the hassle of cleaning out leech rocks and leech moss and things like that. I prefer just clean water like this. And my leeches live practically forever when I keep them this way. So, now that I have my leeches in this jar, the next step is to poke holes in the jar. And I do no less than six holes. Why? Because the jar has to breathe during travel. So this is what I do. I just take this big hole puncher um, or whatever, and then I make holes right near the top. So that's how I do it. Two, three, four, five, six. It's a little bit of a tough job, but someone's got to do it. So now that I've done that, I'll show you. As soon as I put the lid on, now my jar can breathe. What does that mean, Tetsi? What do you mean your jar can breathe? Well, you see, I can do this and it exhales and inhales air through these holes. It inhales fresh air and it exhales leech air, which smells a little bit like a swamp, okay? Because leeches are, after all, a swamp uh, animal in the wild. So then, because I'm not gonna pack with leech gel, I'm just gonna pack with cotton. All I do is just take a piece of whatever, any kind of cotton. It could be organic, it could be uh, regular from the pharmacy. And then I dip it in cold tap water. And then I wanna just squeeze it out, wring out the water. Now, the reason I wanna wring out the water is because I want to keep the leeches relatively dry and I want to keep them relatively moist. So I know it sounds like a contradiction, but what you're aiming for is for your leeches not to be overwhelmed by toxic pee and to be kept moist with this water during travel. So then what we do is um, just sort of attach the cotton to the edge of the jar and then rotate the lid closed. What this does is as soon as the leeches start traveling, they will start releasing their juices and then this cotton will absorb those green juices, but keeping them moist at the same time so they don't turn into a dry raisin, which is what happens if you don't keep your leeches moist. They will go ahead and unalive themselves, okay? So when I pack the jar like this, the next step is to wrap it in some absorbent paper because again, I should repeat, once, once uh, leeches start traveling, they start overheating and they start releasing that greenery, that green toxic juice, that excrement. And we don't want them to have that excrement anywhere near them. So what we wanna do is isolate them from the green excrement by absorbing it with the cotton and then wrapping it in paper just so the excess moisture from the excrement is absorbed by the paper 
during the travel process. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a piece of tape on this setup. And if I can find the edge, maybe I can, maybe I can't. <laughs> course whoever used this before me didn't take care to uh, to wrap the edge so I can easily find it and cut it but then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap it for them so they can easily use it next time you see now there's a little easy to pull edge let me know if you do this Okay, so using this piece of tape, I'm going to tape up my setup. Let's see. Because towards the top especially when the green drops start coming out this paper will start absorbing it and then it will get soaked up in green by the time it gets to you so this is why I use it it's very important you can put extra tape here and down here but I don't and then what I use is just um, a baggie like this one to put the leeches in before I ship them so that this um, plastic bag will additionally prevent any moisture from escaping because once you put this through the United States post office system they don't want to see any moisture escaping from your package or else they'll stop your package and they'll return it back to the sender. So this is why we wrap it in this way. Now let's tape this again. And now I have a perfectly good taped package which can travel as far as Canada or Mexico or within the 50 continental United States states, as well as maybe even, you know, abroad. Maybe you can even send it to like a country that's cold and this way to ensure that they'll survive because if you send them to a hot country in this way, your leeches might not survive because of the heat. Next time, I'm going to show you how to pack leeches using another method which will ensure their survival up to 13 days. This will ensure a survival up to 11 days. So this is just a good method to keep in mind when you're wanting to keep your leeches secured in a, in a plastic jar. But there's other methods also. So let me know what you think let me know if you have any questions leech.com is a good source of leeches healthy robust lively good perfectly good leeches also medicalleeches.com also leeches.com also leech.eu and hirudo.com are your sources for leeches and leech supplies so let me know if you have any questions or comments down below be sure to subscribe I'm Ted C and I'm going to see you next week with another video. I love you. Mwah. Bye.